What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Brad Still Channel. Still reactions. Yeah, the car is where it's happening. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me on the Bradical Bandwagon today. My wife, Emily, is with us today. And I am showing her something that I checked out a little while back. This is Celine Dion closing out the Olympic uh, opening ceremony with a very courageous performance. She's a big fan of Celine. Right? I sure am. I'm also a big fan of of the Starbucks drink that just came out. It's the caramel apple non, wait, caramel apple non-dairy chai latte thing. So good. Anyway. Celine Dion with the closing performance here. Can't wait to check this out again and then her checking it out for the first time. Covers and original music. One of those will be at the end of this video. So if you stick around after the reaction, that'll be there. Also, the red subscribe button is below. Celine Dion closing it out at the Olympics opening scene. In uh, Makes you wish you could be there to experience it. Le ciel de l'eau sur nous peut s'effondrer et la terre peut bien s'écrouler. So we know the, the health issues that she's dealing with affects her voice, affects her whole body. But her voice was the thing she's like, I'm going to sing again. I'm going to sing again. And it sounds pretty powerful. It sounds like her regular voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It does. I'm almost to it. I said, if I didn't know about her health issues, I wouldn't even know anything was wrong. I wouldn't have noticed. Not just because of her voice, but I mean, she looks strong and yeah, I know that she probably has her moments for sure, but... She looks, you know, like that same energy that she always has and a lot of power behind her voice. She's standing on the Eiffel Tower. She is standing on the Eiffel Tower. Adding to the magic of the moment. She looks so tiny. I know. I know. And I didn't even notice the first time I watched all the rain on the piano. It's raining? I mean, it looked like there was a ton of rain on the piano. Or water or something. J'irai jusqu'au bout du monde Je me ferai teindre en blonde Si tu me le demandes Yeah, is that not... J'irai décrocher not, There's... I don't know. That's even more impressive, though. She's singing in the rain. Singing in the rain. Is this... that rain, or is that just a design on the piano? I don't know. It looks like water drips at the bottom. Yeah, too. honestly, can't... I don't know if you guys can even see it because of copyright stuff, but it sure looks like rain. Or water from something. Either way, if it's raining, and if it were uh, like rainy, stormy weather, that's even more impressive that she was able to sing like this in those kinds of conditions. I can't even sing like this in full health. Yeah. Well, I mean, most people. I mean, that's why she's one of a kind. <laughs> 
Je renierai mes amis yeah. Si tu veux me demander Oh, puis bien rire de moi Je ferai n'importe quoi Si tu veux Un jour, la vie t'arrache à moi. Si tu veux que tu sois loin de moi, de ma porte, si tu m'aimes. Yeah, that feels like the. Right? That feels like up there where she would have sung like a lot of her big like power ballads back in the day it's that same type of power to me and that's like the all by myself type thing where she just belting out with the vibrato and i had some people when i uploaded this before trying to tell me she was lip syncing i don't think she's lip syncing really don't think she's lip syncing i know sometimes they can like make the microphones like like they can add tune them tuned into the microphones but also they they can do that wasn't this like broadcasted it was broadcasted live the opening ceremony was wasn't it yeah on nbc yeah so but um, the fact of the matter is even and i don't think she did but even if she had some help she still we still know what she's capable of so and like, with her health problems like <coughs> remarkable that she's even able to sing at all and i don't think and if some people can come for us in the comments acting like we just said she's lip syncing i don't believe she's lip syncing nor do i believe she needs the tuning because she's celine dio i mean my god like she don't need it i just mean with like the help right issues. you could argue that maybe they had to help her a even little bit even if they did like we still know what she's capable of because she's celine dion and we know what she's going through so like i don't care yeah, absolutely. I know she can hit those notes anyway. Ah, you see that emotion on her face. Like, can you imagine how this feels for her? Because, I mean, God only knows the struggles she is. I know she did, like, that documentary or interview where it showed some of what she's gone through. But you have, I bet it's, like, the most rewarding feeling in the world after going through what all she's gone through. Not just with her health, but, like, she lost her husband. I think her brother, wasn't it her brother and her husband both passed away within, like, a very close proximity so you can see, I know you probably can't because of copyright stuff, but like the emotion, you know, she's got, this has got to feel like the most rewarding thing in the world to be here on this stage, the Olympics. Just be standing on the literal Eiffel Tower. Literally standing on the Eiffel Tower. And I don't understand a word she's saying. I don't understand. So please put, if you know it, the translation in the comments, that'd be great. But still... Singing like this, being able to stand up there and do that, like, come on. Celine Dion, who has been dealing with a rare progressive neurological disorder 
and has not appeared very often performing in public with Kelly Clarkson, a performance fitting of this amazing night. And I, I said last time I wanted to know what Kelly said because Kelly was co-hosting. And I think they said that she like couldn't even talk. She was so um, emotional about, I mean, that's like Kelly Clarkson's like, it, even for a singer like her, Celine Dion would be like her hero, you know. So what do you think about Celine being able to put on that kind of performance after, I mean, I don't even know how old she is, but either way, she's got that disease that he was just talking about. Sound pretty good to me. I'm not surprised. Mm. I only heard, like, I heard snippets of it when it was first on, like when it was on the actual TV. But um, I didn't get to see the whole thing because I missed the opening ceremonies. That's why I wanted you to watch it here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, continued prayers and love to Celine Dion. My Absolutely. goodness gracious. I can't imagine what she's going through. But... It's kind of awesome. She said, I'm going to sing again. And she did. I mean, she just flat out, I'd be mean, singing ain't even the word. That sounded just like prime Celine. You know, that sounded like her doing what she does. So uh, kudos to Celine. Continued love and support to her. Thank you guys for joining me. I Go look ahead. like the bad guy on Hocus Pocus. You look like the bad guy on Hocus Pocus. Well, falls here. So there you go. God bless you, everybody. Take it in. Soak it up. Bye. We had dinner reservations tonight But we decided not to go We got in DoorDash and stayed home We had plans to see a movie We were gonna hit the town But we just ended up with our dog on the couch Yeah But I got no no. These nights are the best. Yeah. When you say, honey, let's just stay in tonight. We need to lay back and relax. Hey, Alexa, play Sinatra so we can go in the kitchen and dance. Then we'll watch an office rerun. Grab a camera, strike a pose But these nights when we're together With nobody to impress Ain't no other place that could ever compare to this no, 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 no. Some might say we're lame But as for me, girl Hey Alexa, play Sinatra 